Hey everyone, I am going to do the Geekbench 3 test on iPhone 5S and iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, and an iPad 2. All running iOS 7.0.2. And we're going to see how these all turn out. Run, 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 run. Sorry, the lighting's bad. Let's see here. can't remember if I just mentioned it, but this is the Geekbench 3 app for benchmarking. iPhone 5S is completed. Total score of 2558. The others are still going. There you can see the 5S registering a 129 GHz. There's the iPhone 5, the 1303. It's a huge difference from the 5 to the 5S. 4S and of course iPad 2 taking extremely long time. Five and 4S and iPad 2, as expected, taking a really long time. So, I mean, as you can see, just a huge, about d almost double for the uh, 5S. And these two, of course, looks like the iPad's just about done. Yep, there we go. What do we got? Wow. I mean, that is expected. Since, uh, it is pretty old, but I mean, compare the numbers, and to me that's just, I mean, that's a huge, huge increase from the 5 to the 5S, and the 4S is almost done. There it is. Extremely slow, of course, as expected. And I guess I'll scroll through the numbers on these ones too, just since I did it with the other one. And the iPad 2. I'm scrolling fast, sorry. You can always pause or whatever if you need to know it. But there we go. Geekbench 3 app. iPhone 5S, 2558. iPhone 5, 1303. iPhone 4S, 412. And iPad 2, 498.